Welcome to another episode of our home-based learning for maths. Make sure to have your materials ready as we proceed for today's lesson. For today's lesson, we will be learning about place values. Together, we will all learn to use place value chart to read, write, and represent numbers to 10,000. Recognize the value of the digits in each place value of a four-digit number. Let's get started. Let us read the given problem. Ben said that 1,352 is the same as 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2. Is he correct? Why or why not? Observe the number disk being shown. How are they grouped? Notice how the number disk are grouped accordingly in the number chart. All thousands go together, as well as hundreds, tens, and ones. Take note that the value of the number increases or becomes bigger as we move from ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. For this number chart, we have thousands as the biggest place value. Let us look closely at the place value chart. How many ones are there? Correct, there are two ones. How many tens do we have? We have five tens. How many hundreds are there? There are three hundreds. And lastly, how many thousands are there? We have one thousand. What digit is in the ones place? How about in the tens place? What digit is in the hundreds place? How about the thousands place? What does a digit mean? A digit is any number from 0 to 9. What does the digit in the ones place stand for? It stands for 2 ones, which gives the digit a value of 2. What does the digit in the tens place stand for? The digit in the tens place stands for 5 tens. If we look at the number chart closely, we can skip by 10 and say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Hence, the digit 5 gets a value of 50. What does the digit in the hundreds place stand for? The digit in the hundreds place stand for 3 hundreds. If we look at the number chart closely, we can skip by 100, such as 100, 200, and 300, which gives the digit a value of 300. What does the digit in the thousands place stand for? It stands for 1000. Keep in mind that the value of a digit changes as it moves from one place value to another. So is 1,352 the same as 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2? Let's check. Again, the digit 1 is in the thousands place. The value of the digit 1 is 1,000. The digit 3 is in the hundreds place. The value of the digit 3 is 300. The digit 5 is in the tens place. The value of the digit 5 is 50. The digit 2 is in the ones place. The value of the digit 2 is 2. So is 1,352 the same as 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2? 1,352 is the same as 1,000 plus 300 plus 50 plus 2. Study the number disk given. How many ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands are there? 
I can see that there are two ones, ten tens, five hundreds, and three thousands. I spy ten tens. What do you think should we do if we have ten tens? What does ten tens make? Ten tens make one hundred. Since I have a hundred, I am going to regroup it and put it in the hundreds place. Now let's rename and change ten tens into zero tens and the hundreds into six hundreds. So we have the digit two at the ones place. It has a value of two. The digit zero is at the tens place. It does not have any value. The digit 6 is at the hundreds place and it has a value of 600. The digit 3 is at the thousands place and its value is 3000. The number that is shown is 3602. Again, we say that 3602 is equal to 3000 plus 600 plus 2. Keep in mind that even though the 0 does not have any value at the tens place, it serves as a placeholder for the given number. Removing the 0 in the given number will make it or change 3,602 into 362. Let's practice. Study the place value chart and the given number disk. Find the missing numbers. Study the given questions and fill in the blanks. Find the missing numbers. It's challenge time! Use the digits 4, 5, 6, and 7 to make the biggest 4-digit even number where the digit 5 is in the hundreds place. Don't forget to look into some clues to help you answer the question. I hope you enjoyed this session. Happy learning!